What's up guys, it's Adrian and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I want to show you how to get a lot more subscribers for your YouTube channel as an artist. So in this video, I'm gonna show you step by step how to set up a campaign and run YouTube ads to your song to help you gain more YouTube subscribers. And why is getting subscribers important? Getting subscribers is important because it helps you monetize. Once you hit over a thousand subscribers, then your next objective should be to get over 4,000 watch hours. And once you do that, you're able to start monetizing your channel. So by gaining a lot of subscribers, it's going to help you to make some more money from your music. And obviously we all want to make money from our music so we can make money passively as we are doing other things as artists such as creating other music. Now I haven't been making as many YouTube videos because I've been touring a lot. For example, next week I'm in Egypt, then the week after I'm in Amsterdam, and then I'm in South Asia, then back to the US and back to Germany. So I've been running around like crazy and I'm finally going to try to make videos for you guys while I'm traveling and show you the behind the scenes. And the reason I want to show you guys how to run YouTube ads is because strategically you can target a specific area. For example, the area you are going to perform in and show your ads to everyone in that area watching or listening to your type of music and then give them something for free in exchange for them to become a subscriber. And this is how you build fans and build a loyal listener. You give them something for free in exchange for them to follow you because we all know when you have some sort of exchange with someone, that's when they remember you. So that's what we're gonna do with this YouTube campaign. We're gonna give our fans something for free, which is our music, so they can remember us and become fans and also increase our subscriber base so we can eventually monetize our channel. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then watch this video all the way through because we're gonna go through this step by step. All right guys, so before we begin, what you will need is Hyped It. You can use Hyped It or you can use Tonedent or any website or software that allows you to set up a download gate. You can also use your own personal artist website as well. All right, so here's the gate that I set up that I'm gonna be running YouTube ads to. Basically, someone clicks play, and they'll be able to listen to the song. Basically what happens is um, the YouTube ad will then send people here. It, then they'll also be able to download it. Once they click download, it collects their name and email, and then it sends them to my YouTube channel, which then instructs them to subscribe to my channel. I'll show you guys the process later. Actually, I'll show you now. So basically they click download. You just put in your name, uh, Marin, email. Now it says subscribe to unseen. Once they click that, It'll then pop up another window that then pops up this confirmation. So are you sure you want to subscribe to Unseen? When someone clicks subscribe, then you gain a subscriber. So that is the funnel that we are setting up. And then um, they're able to download the actual track as the final step. So that's the funnel. Now, how do you set it up? Basically, you need a hyped it account. Um, I already set it up just so we can breeze through it. So how do I set it up? You put in the link to the YouTube video. So first you need to upload a YouTube video. And then once you have the video uploaded, you put the link to the video here. You go, you put the genre, you upload the audio file, you put a title the name of the artist, you design your cover. Again, it's pretty straightforward. The gate is the important part. You want to always collect email. And then for YouTube, you want to make this, 
the, um, the subscription stage uh, skippable. And that's because of this. It specifically says YouTube does not like when you mandatorily make someone subscribe to your channel. So what they did instead is make the step skippable. So now when someone lands on your ad, instead of being forced to subscribe, they have the option to subscribe. So with that said, not everyone who downloads your song will subscribe. So there's going to be a good portion of people who skip this, the subscription step and then just download the song. But then you'll also have those people who will subscribe to your channel. Then um, the URL, you customize the URL. You want to always say yes, feature this title on new releases. And um, the audio preview, you set that up. And then email promotion, I always put automatically email my newest download gate. Then you just add your pixel if you have one. This allows you to retarget people later on both YouTube and Meta. So that's Instagram and Facebook. And then you confirm and that's it. Once you have that done, then you will be able to preview it. And this is how it will look to users. Okay. So now with that said, some strategy is when you do get your link or once you finish building your download gate, I recommend putting free download as the first thing I put the link three times. You don't have to put three times. You can, Put it once so if this is your first time on my channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button because i make you music marketing videos that adds tremendous value to you and show you how to grow as an artist as much as i can and i hold nothing back so smash that subscribe button and hit that bell icon so you can be notified for any videos that i post in the future and then not only do i put it in the description i also put it in the comments so free download blah, blah blah and then i pin it to the top so it's the first comment that everyone sees who lands on this video so that gives me three places where someone can subscribe or download the song one is going to be the ad when they see the ad they're going to be able to click that and it's going to send them directly to the download gate two in the description of the video and then three in the comments. So I want to maximize all the spaces or places or chances of getting someone to subscribe to the channel or to download the song so they can subscribe to the channel. Cool. So now that all that is done, you have the video, you have the download gate. Now let's go into actually building the ad campaign. First things first, is you got to go to create a new campaign. We want to go to create a campaign without a goal. Then we go to videos. Then we go to video views. Uh, people ask me about this all the time. Like, what should we do? Um, should we do reach? Should we do frequency? You know, just stick with video views. So you go to video views. And then I like to do the naming later. Uh, so we'll go back to that later. Now with campaign budget, basically you could do a daily spend or you could do a, a lifetime spend. So if you have a fixed amount, you can put a fixed amount, it's $50, $100, $1,000, whatever, or you could do a daily. So you can start at like $3 a day. Um, but if you do daily, you have to monitor it um, because it's not going to shut off automatically. So make sure you're monitoring it if you do daily. So when I run ads, I'm monitoring it constantly. So uh, you can start off with $3, you can start off with $1, you can start off with $5. So I'm just gonna put $5 there. Now with networking, we're just going to turn off video partners on the display network and leave just YouTube. This is where I was telling you guys, you can target any specific location. Now this affects how much your views will cost. If you're targeting the US and Canada, it will cost more than if you're targeting countries where not a lot of people are running ads. So 
it depends on your strategy. For example, what I said earlier, if I'm traveling to a specific city and I know I'm going to be there and I want to build fans there, I will run ads in that location two to three months before getting there. But if you just want video views and want to get as many people to hear your song as possible, you can literally just put all countries and territories. Or if you know all your countries, for example, the back end of SoundCloud and the back end of um, Spotify for artists tells you where majority of your listeners are. So you can putting all those locations and just target those locations and build fan bases there because you know they like your music. Um, but for this, let's just say US and Canada and uh, all languages, since it's uh, electronic music related videos, nothing there. I would leave the multi format on additional settings. Um, the only thing you'll really change here is the frequency cap. Now, basically frequency cap is how often you want someone to see your video before they take an action. Uh, the idea is you don't want to show the same person the ad many times if they have not taken an action, that's pretty much wasting money. So you can decide to show each person your ad a specific amount of times before not showing them anymore. Hope that made sense. So basically, let's say five times, uh, if someone doesn't download my uh, song after watching five times, then, you know, don't show it to them anymore. Or if you are someone who just cares about brand exposure, um, then you don't ever have to put anything in any of these places and just leave it open. So that means you'll show them your ad as like as many times as possible. But I'm in the market of trying to convert as many people as possible to download my music so I could collect more emails and also grow my fan base. So I want to limit how many times someone sees my video before, before not showing them anymore or before moving on to the next person. That's all you need to do up there. And then let's talk about targeting. Now there's many ways to target. <laughs> you can target based on demographics. So if you know your demographic, just put in your demographics, uh, you can target based on parent status by house household income. You can also target by segment. You can also target by keywords, by topic, by placement. So keywords is basically, um, I'm a melodic techno artist, so I could type in melodic techno, and then anyone who is interested in the keyword of melodic techno, my ad will show. And then you can like stack as many keywords in here as possible. So like literally stack as many keywords as possible. And I'll make another video, show you guys how to optimize keywords, but literally stack as many keywords as possible for your genre. Uh, you can put artist name, you can put genre, you can put search terms, you can put sentences like, for example, um, top 10 melodic songs of 2025 or 2024. And then my ad will show up for anyone searching for keywords like this on YouTube. The other thing is topics. So this is more for like companies who specialize in a certain industry, but you can also use it for your music too. Again, I would test all of these. So like I put hip hop and now rap shows up. So now your ad will show for anyone who likes rap or hip hop. And this categorizes pretty much anyone. It's very, very broad. Um, the other thing is placements. So placement, you can use, you could target YouTube channels specifically. You could target YouTube videos specifically. You could target video lineups. So yeah, with YouTube channels, you, you would need to pretty much make a list of 
all the artists that make similar music to you and then uh, put in their channel URL. Yeah, see, uh, type in Tell of Us, the channel Afterlife comes on. So all the videos that these guys are monetizing, my ad will show up on. So anyone watching Afterlife videos, they have 546 videos, 625,000 subscribers. So that means anyone watching or listen to any of their song on YouTube, uh, my video, my ad will show up. So this is great for targeting specific audience who like the specific genre or artist that you're listening to. So yeah, you could target channels, you could target specific videos. So if an artist just released one of their music video, um, you can literally put your ad and they're monetizing it. You can literally put your ad on that video as soon as it comes out. That's a great strategy for um, growing with a video. I'm giving you guys gold, bro. I'm giving you guys gold. So, um, yeah, so there's one more way you could do targeting and that is with, you know, additional audience segments and you could do a custom audience. Basically this is search terms. Um, whenever someone goes on YouTube and they type something in, it's very similar to like keywords, but it's search specific on Google as well as YouTube. So on any of those two platforms, if someone searches this keyword, then my ad will show up again. This is very broad. You can see that it's one point one billion to five billion um, weekly impressions of people who search this kind of stuff. It's mostly male aged 25 to 34 and 70 percent are not parents. Those are the four ways you can really target people with YouTube and you could combine a lot of them. So that's what I would do. I would test all three of them individually though, or all four of them individually. Uh, I wouldn't do them all at the same time. So I would test keywords diff, uh, in a, in its own campaign, test placements in its own campaign, test, um, custom audience in its own campaign, just so you can monitor which one is performing the best so you know where to put most of your money yeah now it's time to put a youtube video so here's my video link so i put my youtube video and then i put my hyped it um in here and then um that's pretty much it <laughs> you add a call to action so download and then um headline you could put you know free download or something like that or you know just put something and uh long headline you put the name on the song so mine is good vibration download now for free and then you can either upload your own image or have it automatically generated and then you want to name your ad and then with the cpv which means cost per view bid Usually you want to start at like five cents and basically most people start at five cents. However, if you want to really be aggressive, uh, you can go 10 cents um, per view. Most of the time you're going to get less than 10 cents anyways. And now you just create the campaign. Once you create the campaign, you'll start showing your, your ad to other people interested in your song. And then you uh, give them the opportunity to download the song, which then brings them to your YouTube channel where they have the pop up that asks them to subscribe. And that's how you grow your YouTube channel with paid ads. So this is how I recommend running your YouTube ads. So one, you get thousands and thousands of more views and ideally you will get thousands of new subscribers to your YouTube channel, which in turn will give you a lot more credibility and clout as an artist. So I've been helping a lot of artists do this exact same strategy. And as a result, they have been growing substantially, especially on YouTube. And they're now all monetized. Their channels are all monetized. So now they're making money from their music passively as they are doing other things. And ideally that's what we all want as artists. So if you need help, setting this up or running this for yourself, just make sure you have a marketing budget and then hit that link 
in my comments. Now, if you found value from this video, don't forget to smash that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and let me know in the comments what you think.